गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स एस वी आर डिस्कसिंग द चैप्टर नंबर फोर एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर एंड केमिकल बॉन्डिंग ओके लास्ट इन द लास्ट लेक्चर इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस अबाउट द अटोमिक मास एंड एटॉमिक नंबर ऑफ एन एलिमेंट एंड वट इन्फॉर्मेशन वी गेट फ्रॉम द सिंबल ऑफ एन एलिमेंट कंटेनिंग द अटोमिक नंबर एंड अटोमिक मास अटोमिक नंबर एट द बेस पोजिशन and it we call it as an a subscript and atomic mass on the upper position and we call them as superscript right this thing okay now we are discussing a very important topic and the another topic named as isotopes named the isotopes okay isotopes is a type or is a uh, they are defined as the elements atoms of the same element with different with different atomic mass but same atomic number atoms of an element with different atomic mass but same atomic number they are called as isotopes let's take an example and after that example that clearly will explain you what is the meaning of an isotope for example if we are taking hydrogen as an element right so hydrogen element contains three types of atoms and we can say they are containing three types of isotopes the first one is hydrogen when its atomic number is 1 as you remind this thing atomic number is written in the base and represented by the symbol z and atomic mass is written on the upper side and with the symbol a so here hydrogen 1 1 and 1 they are their atomic numbers of the hydrogen element now one atomic mass of hydrogen element this two is also an atomic mass of the hydrogen element and this three will also atomic mass of the hydrogen element when the atomic mass of hydrogen element is one it is called as protium or p it is hydrogen it is hydrogen but when we are discussing in its isotopic form or we are comparing it their three isotopes then we change their name otherwise with all of three we can call them as an hydrogen atom but still when we are discussing them as an isotopes then we can call them with these names also the okay. when atomic mass of hydrogen atom is 2 it is called as deuterium and you can represent it with the symbol d you can represent it with the symbol d now when atomic mass of the hydrogen atom is 3 this is called as tritium this is called as tritium and represented by the symbol p represented by the symbol t okay you know what um, many elements in the uh, periodic table contain their isotopes it means they have their same atomic numbers but different atomic masses they all have their same atomic numbers but different atomic masses let's discuss the another example that is of carbon that is of carbon element and this carbon element also contains three different atoms or we can say it have three isotopes three isotopes which have same atomic number with the same atomic number 6 6 and 6 you see here they have all same atomic number but different atomic mass different atomic mass first one getting the 12 13 and then 14 first is 12 then 13 and then finally 14 its atomic mass now next example is of chlorine next example is of chlorine atom as you know atomic number of chlorine atom is 17 atomic number of fluorine is 17 this is 17 and here comes also 17 and atomic mass of chlorine atom is 35 and here comes it 37 so the chlorine atom shows two isotopes carbon will show three isotopes same hydrogen will show three isotopes understand this thing this is clear to you all now moving on to its their properties and the other things look if we are talking about the chemical properties how one isotopes react with the other atom again another isotopes how it will react with the other atom again next isotope how it will react with the other atom to understand its concept of chemical property first you need to understand what is the difference between these isotopes what is the difference between these isotopes as 
we see there is a difference in their atomic number. As we see, there is a difference in their, sorry, atomic mass, not atomic number. There is a difference in their atomic mass. And in the last lecture, we discussed what is the meaning of atomic mass here. If we are talking about the atomic mass, this atomic mass equals to this atomic mass represented by the symbol A, this will equals to number of protons plus number of neutrons. Number of protons plus number of neutrons. Let's talk about hydrogen atom. If we are talking about hydrogen atom, atomic number 1, isotope number 1, this atomic number 1, here comes 2, atomic number 1, here comes 3. And last lecture, we discussed this thing also, atomic number will represent number of proton present. Atomic number will represent number of proton present. And here we see number of proton present in all these three hydrogen atoms. In all the three hydrogen atoms is one. One, one and one. Because its atomic number is one. Such that its number of proton is one, one and one. Here comes one and here comes one. So it means if the atomic number value. If we are talking about the atomic mass, let's discuss about the atomic mass now. Atomic mass is 1. It means this contains proton 1 plus number of neutron equals to 0. Equation will solve by this because 1 is equals to this atomic mass equals to number of neutrons plus protons. If the value of protons is 1, and this atomic mass is equals to 1. It means the number of neutrons is 0. So in first case, neutron number is 0. Let's discuss the second case. When the atomic mass is 2. When the atomic mass is 2. And we know atomic number is 1. It means number of proton is 1. Number of proton is 1. Then number of neutron. How will you get number of neutron? Calculate. Number of neutron is equals to 2 minus 1 equals to 1. Number of neutron equals to 2 minus 1 equals to 1. So here is presence of 1 neutron. So here is the presence of 1 neutron. Now moving on to the next third one case. Now 3 is the atomic mass is equals to number of proton equals to 1 and number of neutron equals to 1. Now calculate the number of neutron equals to 3 minus 1 it is 2. Number of neutron is 2. So in the third case number of neutron is Two. So we can say in the first case hydrogen 1, this one, in the second case this and 2, in the third case 1 and 3. Then what is the difference, major difference between these three isotopes? So they differ by the number of neutrons only. They can differ by the number of neutrons only. There is no any difference by their protons. There is no any difference by the number of electrons. So these isotopes or any of the atom atomic isotopes, they differ only by the number of neutrons. Let's discuss the another one. Okay. Okay. We are discussing here the another example that is of carbon C6 and this is 12. C6, this is 30 and again C6, this one is 14. Now calculate the number of neutrons present in them. So atomic mass, it represented by the symbol A equals to number of proton plus number of neutrons. And this 6, 6 is the atomic number that is equals to Z and that is equal to number of proton that we discussed. That is the number of protons. So simply now... Atomic mass is 12, number of proton is 6, the number of neutron, n value is 6 only. In the second case, if we discuss the second case, C6 and this is 13, voila. And then atomic mass 13 is equals to 6 plus n, so n value is equals to 7. Understand this thing? Now next move, 6 and this is 14, again 14 equals to 6 plus n, the value of n is 8 here. So, the difference is only that this atomic C6 and 12, carbon atom C6 and 12 will get 6 neutron, carbon atom 6 and 13 will get 7 neutron and carbon atom 6 and 14 will get 8 electron only. 
एक न्यूट्रॉन्स ओनली सो देयर इज नो एनी डिफरेंस बाय द नंबर ऑफ प्रोटॉन्स देयर इज नो एनी डिफरेंस बाय द नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सो द डिफरेंस इज बाय द नंबर ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन्स ओनली द डिफरेंस इज बाय द नंबर ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन्स ओनली सो प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग वी डिस्कस दिस इन द लास्ट वीडियो आल्सो दैट any of the atom or any of the element will react only will react only to complete its valence shell octet rule to complete its octet rule to complete its valence shell with eight electron only to complete its valence shell with eight electron only he needs eight electrons in the valence shell or just to complete the eight electron he will share either there is a sharing process either there is a loss or either there is a gain of electron by that atom either the atom will gain of electron either the atom will lose electron or either the atom will share the number of electrons okay understand this thing so now if there is no any difference by the number of electrons it means it simply discuss this thing with us that chemical properties we see that chemical properties of all the isotopes are similar chemical properties of all the isotopes are similar they are same there is no any difference by the chemical properties because chemical properties these chemical properties make difference when there is a change in electrons when there is a change in number of electrons as there are no any change in the number of electron the difference is by the number of neutrons only so there is no any change in the chemical properties of isotopes so all the isotopes either any of the atom either of oxygen either of potassium either of chlorine either of carbon either of hydrogen they will never differ by their chemical properties but there is a certain difference in their physical properties but there is a certain difference in their physical properties and physical properties like their boiling point their density and the other things also okay there is a certain difference in their physical properties only like if we discuss about hydrogen 1 and 1 hydrogen 1 and 2 and this hydrogen 1 and this 3 so there is a difference in the boiling point of these two elements these two atoms the first one is it will may contain the boiling point of 20 point something k and it will may contain the boiling point of 23 point 1 k understand this then they contain their difference in the boiling point only and the density only somehow we can say them as the physical properties there is a difference in their physical properties only there is no difference in their this chemical properties let's discuss few other examples let's we discuss now the few other examples of the isotopes okay i'm making a list and you can prepare it also first one is hydrogen 1 and 1 second isotope is 1 and 2 third isotope is 1 and 3 now second is second one is carbon c6 12 c6 and this is 13 c6 and this is 14 now third one is what is the third one isotope is fluorine this is 17 and 35 this is fluorine 17 and 37 now fourth one is oxygen 8 16 oxygen 8 and this is 18 now next one is potassium 19 this is again potassium 19 so atomic mass of potassium is atomic mass of potassium is 40 so it is 38 and 40 two isotopes are there one is the 38 one and second one is the 40 there okay understand this thing actually this is not 40 this is of 39 this is 39 so two isotopes are there one is 38 and second one is the 39 so next we move on the topic that is isobars that is isobars let's discuss the topic isobars i hope this topic isotopes is clear to you all now let's discuss another topic that is related to the previous topic that is of isotopes now isobars isobars same with the isotopes are the elements having the same they are having the same now same atomic mass same atomic mass but they differ but 
they differ by atomic number but they differ by their atomic number isobars are the elements they differ by their atomic number but have the same atomic mass let's see an example we are discussing about calcium and argon calcium and argon calcium atomic number 20 argon atomic number 18 and atomic mass of both the atoms are 40 and 40 atomic mass of both the elements are 40 and 40 so here they will differ by their atomic numbers and having same atomic mass they will differ by their atomic numbers and have same atomic masses that is of 40 and 40 this is the concept of isobars if uh, अगर मैं इससे अलग से कुछ बताऊ ना तो उसमें ये चीज था एक ट्रिक है छोटा सा दिस इज एक्स राइट जेड हमने यहां लिखा एंड ए हम लोगों ने यहां लिख दिया ना अगर मैं बात कर रही हूं किसके लिए आइसोटॉप के लिए ठीक है आइसो वर्ड स्टैंड फॉर सेम आइसो वर्ड स्टैंड फॉर दी सेम ओके इफ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दी आइसोटॉप इट मीन्स अगर मतलब इस कॉन्सेप्ट से थोड़ा सा इसको उल्टा लेना है अब यहाँ हम इसे सेम कंसीडर नहीं करेंगे अब हम इसको डिफरेंट यहां पे कंसीडर करेंगे हम लोग क्या कंसीडर करेंगे इसको डिफरेंट आइसोटॉप टॉप माने टॉप पोजीशन। आइसोटॉप में क्या था उसकी अगर डेफिनेशन की बात करें तो उसमें ट्रिक क्या था आपके पास में कि जो आपका अटोमिक नंबर है विल रिमेन द सेम बट टॉप विल चेंज बट दी अटोमिक मास विल चेंज ना सो इट मीन्स आइसोटॉप टॉप माने टॉप विल चेंज उसका टॉप चेंज हो जाएगा मतलब उसका जो अटोमिक मास है वो चेंज हो जाएगा यहाँ पे बट इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दी आइसो बार्स आइसो अगेन वी आर टेकिंग इट डिफरेंटली तो आइसो बार्स बार माने बॉटम बार स्टैंड फॉर दी बॉटम नाउ हेयर द बॉटम विल चेंज नाउ हेयर इन द आइसो बार्स द बॉटम विल चेंज अब यहाँ क्या चीज चेंज हो जाएगी आपकी बॉटम चेंज हो जाएगी तो ये एक थोड़ा सा इस कॉन्सेप्ट को रिमाइंड करने के लिए एक छोटा सा हमारे पास में ट्रिक आता है कि क्या होने वाला है अगर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दी आइसो टॉप इट मीन इट्स टॉप विल चेंज टॉप चेंज हो जाएगा और टॉप में क्या होता है अटोमिक मास होता है उसमें अटोमिक मास चेंज होता है बट इफ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दी आइसो बार इट मीन्स इट्स बॉटम विल चेंज तो उसका बॉटम चेंज हो जाएगा और बॉटम पे क्या होता है हमारा अटोमिक नंबर होता है दिस विल हैपन सिंपली ओके अंडरस्टैंड दिस कंसेप्ट ओके नाउ लेट्स मूव टू दी नदर टॉपिक वी आर डिस्कस हेयर अबाउट द टॉपिक वैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन we discuss here the topic of valence electrons as we discussed earlier valence electrons are the number of electrons present in the last shell or the last orbit these are the number of electrons present in the last shell or the last orbit of the atom right now as we know our uh, number of shells k n m and n by the of 2n square rule by the 2n square rule we discuss right k shell will contain 2 n will contain 8 m will contain 8 n will contain 18 and so on 18 and 32 number will coming and coming and coming okay actually um, according to the 2n square rule what we discuss this is 2 8 and here comes the 18 but when we are filling the number of electrons in them we consider them as 2 8 8 18 18, 18 and 32 and so on again the 32 number okay that will you uh, learn how this filling will occur in the higher classes but uh, please remember this thing for now and do not get confused with the past video that it is 2 8 8 18 18 32 and 32 only understand this thing let's uh, now filling the number of electrons in their Atomic orbitals or in their atomic shells. Now discuss this thing. Hydrogen is equals to atomic number one. So one electron is there because atomic number represents the number of protons. And always in an atom, number of protons equals to the number of electrons because our atom is electrically neutral atom. Our atom is electrically neutral element. So if there is one atomic number, it means one electron is there. So just define. one electron there if we are saying helium atom there two electrons are there so one and one two electrons are there here now if we are talking about the lithium atom there are three electrons present so you see this is the k shell this is the k shell or you can also say this is the first number shell so this is the 
K shell and you can also say this is the first number shell. Okay. Now, when the first number of shell is completely filled, when the first number of shell get completely filled, it means it only can have maximum of two electrons. We discussed this thing that it will only get have maximum of two electrons if that maximum amount of two electrons get filled, then the shell will move to the electron will move to the next orbit or the next shell. Then only the electron will move to the next orbit or the next shell of that atom. For example, one electron is there in helium, two electrons are present and two get filled in the K shell. Now, K shell does not have space for the another electron and electron will move to the another shell that is the shell number two or the L shell. Okay, so there is one and one, two electron. So, remember this thing. Pehle aapko innermost shell ko fill karna hai. Uske baad hi aapko next shell pe jana hai. Kal bhi hum logo ne is chis ke discuss kiya tha ki jo filling of aapka electrons hai wo innermost shell se start karega then it will go to the higher shells. First you start with one, then two, then three, then four, then five and so on up to the other level. Okay? K, L, M and N then you move on to the another level. Understand this thing? So, first of all, where will filling be? K shell will be filling. If there are three number of electrons, then first you have to fill the innermost shell. Two electrons are there. Then move on to the next one. That is the this. There are the number of electrons other present. Now, beryllium is, it have the number of electrons. Four, then two must be coming in the K shell and next two will go to the another shell. So, one and one, two and two and two, four. Number of electrons get complete here. Now, we are moving to the another slide. Here, number, atomic number five, that is the boron element. In the boron element, as you see, five electrons are there. So, maximum capacity of the K shell is of two electrons and the maximum capacity of L shell is of eight electrons. It can have maximum of eight electrons in it. Now, we need to fill five electrons. So, two will go to the K shell and next three will come to the L shell. One, two and three, they are coming. Same with the carbon atom. The maximum capacity of K is 2 and maximum capacity of L is 8. But we required only 4. 1, 2, 3 and 4. And it will go form the 6 number of electrons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and this is 6. The same will happen with the nitrogen atomic number 7. We required to fill the 7 electron only. So 2 electron will come to the K shell and next 2 will go, next, next 5 will move to the L shell. L orbit, same with atomic number 8, oxygen, 2 will go to the first K shell and next 6 will move to the L. Fluorine, atomic number 9, 2 will go to the, 2 will go to the K shell and next, next again 7 will go to the L shell. Now, if we are talking about the neon atom, then 2 will go to the K shell and next 8 will go to the L shell. But what happened if, but what happened if, we are discussing with atomic number 11, that is of sodium. Now you see 1, 2 and this is 3. Okay, we have to fill them 11 electrons.